Uh, yeah, so we're going to be showing you um, the first show of uh, Rocky Drama, and uh, that'll include a short like intro video that we didn't show before. Uh, we did have some requests last time to not have picture in picture or talking over it, so we're just going to kind of cut that, play through this demo, and then we'll come back after the first show is over in like 15 minutes or so. Um, just a reminder that this is pre-alpha gameplay, so there is a lot of like temporary art and placeholders. We've got a new UI, which you can kind of see right now, um, with the overshells looking all sleek, but the everybody ready is still in the current UI, so that'll all be changed. Um, but yeah, let's um, jump right in. Hope you enjoy. Next, on Beneath the Tunage, they started as friends, bound together by a rock and roll dream. Lights go down. They were just untouchable. Why? Hear this hum. They were so intense, and no one was that heavy back then. Talented, great looking, and chock full of charisma, the band was a tall glass of rock water, served on the rocks. It was like, jun, 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 jun. Oh my god, their shows were so intense. Jun, 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 jun. It was crazy. They set off in search of fame and fortune, but what they found along the way is that dreams could sometimes become nightmares. I don't think I've ever witnessed a band on stage implode. I've never been in a crowd that tightly packed before. It's actually dangerous. Being in a van with that many people is challenging. Grab your favorite shovel and get ready for an excavation of the truth beneath a rock and roll legend. This is the story beneath the tunage. October 8, 1989. The band forms in high school biology class during a particularly boring lesson. I was trying to teach those kids something useful, but they were busy yapping about making a band. You got to focus, I told them, else you're gonna wind up working at the poop factory over on 6th Street. They didn't listen. I was in that class that day, totally. They were like, oh, let's start a band. I'm like, cool, can I be in it? They're like, God, Terry, no, shut up. It was awesome. March 17, 1990. Having practiced for a total of 33 minutes, the band was ready to play their first ever show at Bud F. Bonkazoids, a local amusement center for kids and incredibly uncool teens. But could the fledgling band draw a crowd?
And this is what happens when we show pre-alpha gameplay. Sometimes it, it does the crashy thing. Um, yeah, so let's give this another shot. Can we go off for like one minute or so just so we can um, get everything uh, back all set up for you? Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, we'll be back in a minute. Hi. Okay, so we're back. We skipped through the videos you've already seen, and we skipped through the first song. Yay for dev kit cheats. Uh, so we're just going to continue from here. Uh, no Justin Bieber. Sorry. Though they had played hard, the sole audience member called their performance kind of butt. With their one fan whipped up into a sweaty, out-of-breath frenzy, the band was ready to take it home. Like a caged animal in heat, the drummer clawed directly into the crowd's hearts. Despite an underwhelming turnout, the Bud F. Boncazoid's show garnered the band tremendous word of mouth. All of a sudden, there was so much buzz. Yeah, it was crazy how much people were really talking about that show, because, yeah, there was like only one really weird guy there. No exaggeration, greatest show in the entire history of music. The crowd unanimously agreed that the bassist was the real star of the show. It was like, bing, bong, bong. But it remained to be seen whether the band could keep up their momentous momentum. There we go. Hi. Uh, yeah, so that's the first show of Rocky Drama with no gaps in between, of course. Um, yeah, that's what happens when we play with early builds. Um, so, yeah, you saw how there uh, were some specific call-outs that were made to specific members of the band that were doing particularly well. Um, it'll call you out if you're doing poorly. Um, so... Uh, the narrator is really dynamic throughout the entire campaign, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, there's there's a lot more that we can't wait to show you, but we're not going to spoil it because we don't want to show too much too soon. Um, Sean unceremoniously ducked out. Uh, he is actually playtesting this tomorrow, I think he said. Um, so he is... Uh, he can't see this ahead of time. His first time seeing this actually needs to be in that playtest session, which is kind of cool that we do stuff like that. Um, so we are going to uh, say goodbye for now. Um, we will be back on Wednesday with uh, our podcast. As Christine mentioned earlier, we're going to be uh, talking to people that worked on this. Um, we have uh, Helen, right? No. Oh, Helen. Right. Yeah. Dennis, Bruno, and Derby. That's yes. right. So uh, Dennis, who is running the board and everything back here, did a ton of work making all those videos happen. Uh, 
Derby is the lead designer on the feature, and uh, Dan Bruno is um, uh, also a designer on the feature. Um, so it'll be cool to talk to them and show some other stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I think that maybe next time we should do like some giveaways, I think. So tune in next Monday, and maybe we'll give away some DLC early. Maybe by tuning in, you can be the only one playing the new DLC on Monday. Which isn't announced yet. That's exciting. Which isn't announced yet. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't say it. I don't know what it is off the top of my head, <laughs> so I couldn't do that. Okay, uh, we will see you guys on Wednesday.